us. Thank you. And back now to the big story unfolding in Cleveland. Vice presidential nominee Mike Pence wrapping up his big speech. On the stage just moments before Trump's biggest competitor throughout the primary, Texas Senator Ted Cruz had the crowd going. That is until the very end when he told voters to go with their conscience this November without ever endorsing his former challenger. If you love our country and love your children as much as I know that you do, stand and speak and vote your conscience. Vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. God bless each and every one of you. A lot of delegates were caught off guard by this. Political reporter Bo Minnick in Cleveland tonight to the North Carolina delegation. Bo. Sharon, certainly after that boo at the end of Senator Cruz's address, this arena was talking about it, and you just heard it there. That boo was very loud in here. Afterwards, I tracked down a Trump supporter from North Carolina. I believe, in all good conscience, that we're going to go forward from this convention united behind our candidate, Donald Trump, and those folks who are feeling so strongly about uh, Ted Cruz, they will have to reconcile that feeling with the direction and the principles of the party going forward. Now, having said that, then Governor Pence did his address, and it was a very different atmosphere in here. There were loud cheers of, we like Mike. So. Certainly, I guess we're talking about party unity again at this point. And here's what some of the delegates from North Carolina were saying about both Pence and Cruz leading into their addresses. Well, Every year you hear this election is the most important, but in my opinion, this one really is. And that makes the vice presidential pick even more important. We asked North Carolina's delegates what they think of Mike Pence. I think uh, Donald Trump chose someone that he thought was appropriate that he could work with for the next eight years. He's created jobs. He's increased funding for education. He's done a great job as governor. I think he'll do a great job as our next vice president of the United States. While we were visiting delegates on the floor, we ran into Don King, a Trump supporter who had this to say to the Tar Heel State. I love the folks in North Carolina, and I want to say to them that they are Americans. I'm an American. We love you. I want to make America great again. You know what I mean? And America first. Bring back our jobs. While the delegates are eager to hear what Pence will continue to say, they also say Ted Cruz's message is key to party unity. I am a Cruz delegate, but I am happy to see that Ted Cruz is here, and I hope that the party continues to come together because we have to come together if we're going to win in November. Anybody who doesn't vote for Donald Trump or stays home or votes for everybody else on the ballot and leaves the president blank, which actually happened a lot four years ago, that is a vote for Hillary Clinton, period. And definitely heading into tomorrow, there will be much more talk about party unity. So what can else, what else can happen here? Of course, tomorrow is the last day and Donald Trump is set to give his big address tomorrow night. Live in Cleveland, Bowman, CBS, North Carolina.